Hey everyone, so we're looking at the Flagstaff 826 BHS. So this is a bunk model. It's 8,279 pounds, 29 feet, 11 inches. It features a 21 foot powered awning with LED lights. So you're gonna get plenty of shade. 54 gallon fresh, 90 gallon gray, 50 gallon black. And those are heated holding tanks, which is super nice. Um, you're looking at a fiberglass unit. So this is a laminated fiberglass sidewalls with six sided aluminum frames. You also, uh, I should point out that it is vacuum laminated one piece roof and walls. So the roof is fully walkable. I'll show you real quick. You've got a ladder back here. So it's fully walkable, easy to clean and maintain. You have your backup slash rear observation camera prep, which means you just buy it, pop it in there, you're good to go two inch receiver so if you want to haul additional stuff you can you do feature frameless tinted windows on this camper an outside mount for a tv outside speakers you've got storage out here this is actually your under bed storage solid entry steps what else am i missing out here 200 watt roof solar with a thousand watt inverter. So that's gonna keep your battery charged. And I do believe, yes, the refrigerator is 12 volts. So it will keep your refrigerator on, which is super nice. Let's go ahead and check out some of the features on the inside. So you are uh, 15,000 BTU AC. This is 50 amp service. So you are wired for a second AC if you want, and you can pop that right in there if you want. So you can have two ACs in this unit. Up here at the front, as you'll see, we've got a ton of kitchen countertop space. We have a large undermounted stainless steel sink, stainless steel microwave, and then we've got our, I think that's 21 inch oven. Cabinetry is absolutely beautiful on this. It is screwed and glued solid wood cabinet doors. You've got your TV with your sound bar, and you've got this nice little breakfast spot. We have a, a Flagstaff, and we have a little breakfast spot like that, and we use it all the time. Love it. 11 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. So like I said, that will run off of your um, battery and your solar. You've got solid surface countertops throughout. Show you around those a little bit. Directly across from the entertainment area, we have our theater seats. I have those exact same theater seats in mine. Super comfortable. They do recline. Very, very cozy. As we move back, I told you this is a bunk unit. We've got our bunks here. The top bunk is 300 pounds rated. You're good on the bottom bunk. You've got some additional storage there. Moving into the bathroom, we have a sit-down shower, which if you guys watch any of my videos, you know I love my sit-down showers. Toilet, of course, porcelain toilet. That means that you can use any household chemicals on that you want. You don't have to worry about having anything special. Nice big sink, plenty of spot for all of your stuff with storage below, as well as a medicine cabinet and then some additional storage over here. It does also feature the Max Air fan in here. And then we make our way back to the master bedroom where we've got a king-sized bed. You do have storage on both sides. I'm sorry, queen-sized bed. My bad. You've got uh, nightstands on both sides where you can put your CPAP, your phone, whatever you need to with charging on both sides and a little additional nightstand there. And as you can see, you have some closet space. I guess that's what you call it. Storage space up above with reading lights. And you can have your own TV back here so you can come back in here and relax if you'd like. And a ton of both hanging space as well as stacking space with drawers and cabinets back here in the bedroom. You also have a vaulted roof, which is super nice in these because in the travel trailers, a lot of times if you get the flat roof, it just feels a little tighter in here when you get these nice big vaulted roofs, uh, you get that extra space. Talk about price. It's a 2023 Flagstaff 826 BHS. You're looking at sale price of $45,999, retail is $66,038. If I left anything out, if I said anything stupid, which I don't think I did this time, but if I did, drop me a comment down below. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know, or if there's a specific unit you would like to see, just leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to show it to you.